We just drove six hours-ish from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma to St. Louis, Missouri. We are here to do uh, IVF egg retrieval. And we are staying, where is it? Uh, let's see, Union Station Hotel. It's the old train station. And it looks incredible. Yeah. <laughs> we can't wait to show you. Union Station opened to the public for train travel in 1894. St. Louis was known for being the gateway to the West, and because of this, Union Station was one of the largest and busiest passenger train terminals in the world at the time. The architect was Theodore Link, and he found his inspiration from the walled city of Carcassonne in southern France. The Grand Hall served as the main waiting room for travelers. The barrel vaulted ceiling is 65 feet high. Nowadays, the room hosts a 3D light show that's set to different themes and music across the ceiling every day at 5 p.m. I wonder what the architect Theodore would have thought of that. <laughs> I'm sure he would have loved it. <laughs> I love all the beautiful little details and I admire how well it's been preserved. It's an incredible building and I just feel like, gosh, I wish we had more details like that in today's architecture. Okay, the show's over. We can kind of see the dome and now all of its glory. We're just walking around the hotel and Abby's like, this is a pretty little room. <laughs> this is a really nice hotel. This us? Oh, we have a name. The Dixie Limited. The cards are like trains. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> We booked an executive grand hall room with a king bed. The room was beautifully decorated with a very subtle train theme that was really cute. The bed was very comfortable and I loved the overall design and style. After getting settled in, we decided to head out and find somewhere close for dinner. We are on our way to dinner. Where are we going to eat? Uh, Maggie O'Brien's. <laughs> Taste of the Irish. Yeah, in St. Louis. <laughs> It's like a leprechaun on top of a, like a supposed rock that says Blarney Stone, but I don't know how that has anything to do with the actual Blarney Stone. See that video where I kissed it. <laughs> We got the O Hennessy. It's like fried chicken with a butter sauce and cheese. It was it's very pretty good. Rich. It's very rich. Really good though. I got a buffalo um, ranch wrap with onion rings. Pretty good. This building is so beautiful. If you are ever in the area, it's definitely worth checking out and exploring. So 
we did the egg retrieval this morning and it went really well. Um, they got 23 eggs and <laughs> we be, what was I saying as I was coming out of sedation? She, she kept saying, I don't want 23 babies. And then she'd start crying. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, um, tomorrow we'll know like, you know, how they're doing and with Weeby sample, how many survived, how many are viable for a pregnancy. So, um, it's, it's exciting. I'm a little sore, um, but overall I'm doing really well. And so Weeby said I could treat myself and I could choose dinner. So I chose Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> so stuffed <laughs> we of course had to get cheesecake but had to get it to go because we are so can't stuffed. eat another bite <laughs> we are going to a cardinals game tonight yes. it is our well my at least my first professional game to go to i think mine too i, I can't remember ever going to a professional so we're pretty excited. We've been to the drillers, Tulsa drillers. That's semi-pro. Semi-pro. <laughs> we made the decision to stay an extra night in St. Louis because I wasn't sure how comfortable I would be the next day for the long car ride home. So that morning we slept in and we decided to go see the Cardinals that night. <laughs> Abby's got her gear on. Cardinals. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, a leaf just yeah, fell on my shoulder. <laughs> uh, one fell and flew across <laughs> my shoulder, too. <laughs> so, our egg retrieval was back in June, and it's now October. Um, so, I apologize for some of the time jumping. Um, today, we are in Broken Arrow and just at a little nature center that we like to go for walks in, and I thought we probably should update on kind of where we left off. Yeah, it's been a little while. So... Egg retrieval, I can't remember if we mentioned we had 23 eggs retrieved. Yes, um, I think we did. Nine of those eggs were matured and looked good for fertilization. And then after 24 hours of watching those nine, only five looked like they were doing what they needed to do. Like to, growing. And, yeah, yeah. To become like a viable embryo. Right. And then, so they watched them for five days, or was it seven days? I think it was five. Five days. Five days. And out of those five, only one um, looked to be viable. And then we had one that was like a complex mosaic, which um, is risky and right. lots of factors to that go into that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> So we decided um, we didn't want to go down that road with the complex mosaic yeah. embryo. So really we're looking at one. So um, <clears throat> we have done the transfer. That was last week. That was last week. And I'll put some video kind of on that day here. Yeah. It is October 1st and we are about to go do our embryo transfer of our one little embryo that we have. So um, 
today is the day. Like we don't have any it's other. It's finally here. No other uh, embryos to try. This is our only one. So, and then Weeby, I realized you're wearing blue and I happen to be wearing pink. <laughs> <laughs> we do know the gender, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna share that. Um, Guess in the comments. <laughs> Boy or girl? Well, we'll see if it's successful. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I uh, am jacked up on hormones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like swollen and irritable. And <laughs> oh, poor thing. Uh, I've been having to give myself um, injections in the booty. Because <laughs> uh, Weeby couldn't stomach it. No. <laughs> no. I said, I told her that I didn't want to hurt her. Yeah, so Because I, I felt bad. I hurt myself. So she's doing it herself. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day, I'm just going to be really glad to not have to do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, me too. So we'll see what happens. So we just got here. Um, they told us in the instructions that I am to have a comfortably full bladder. And I don't really feel like I have <laughs> a full bladder. So we stopped at Sonic and got a cherry limeade and I drank like this whole thing. Like, in... But you also have like 30 minutes or yeah. longer, like 45 minutes or so. Right. So. They want us to get here early. Yeah. But I'm nervous and I've already been kind of emotional trying not to cry. <laughs> oh, you sweetie. So here we go. This is it. It's that time. I just found out I have to keep giving myself injections for six more weeks. Six more weeks. Not happy. We're not happy right now. <laughs> We're going to have to go get a pizza later. <laughs> That's a picture of our little embryo baby. <laughs> so now I'm on like... Um, day five post transfer and I've been so emotional today. I like put makeup on for this video and then I just spent all morning crying it off. Yeah. We, she's had a little bit of spotting and so that's why it's been a little emotional and so yeah, we're just not sure at this point. Um, but we get, um, Let's see, it's Tuesday, so there'll be two to three more days before we do our blood work. Right. Um, so that'll be the first kind of test is in about three days, and then they do a re they recheck blood work five days. So <clears throat> it's just been this a week, really difficult journey. Yeah. A lot of waiting, a lot of unknown, a lot of excitement, and then a lot of like heartbreak. Like whenever we found out we really only had one. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Like, that was really disappointing, because... Because we, well, we knew our chance was pretty slim. Yeah. At that point. So. And I, I had told Weeby, I said, like, I don't financially want to continue to just keep going down this road. I don't want to physically keep going down this road. The emotional, yeah. and physical turmoil of all the injections and then the hormones all over the place. It's just been really hard. So my hat goes off to all of y'all that have done egg retrieval multiple, multiple times because it's yeah. so rough yeah so we know this little embryo's gender which is wild because we did the <laughs> you know testing to be sure that the viability that they have all the chromosomes that they could actually make like a baby and a benefit of doing that i don't know if you consider it a benefit depending on how you look at it is you know it's gender so it's it's like I've already felt like this little embryo, like, I've already felt like that it's so real. Like, we've already kind of picked out a name for it. I've already uh, done a little shopping for it because <laughs> I can't help myself. Right. <laughs> and so, like, this morning when I was having, like, this spotting, and I just had this, like, just pit in my stomach feeling like it didn't work. It just feels like a loss. Yeah. But... We'll see. But that doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. We know there's, you know, the implantation can have some spotting. So we're, we're just staying positive, trying to stay yeah. positive here. And it's freaking hard because I have so many days of work ahead of me with this 
feeling of like unknown. It's not like I can have a couple of days off to kind of be in my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So that's where we're at now. Yeah. Kind we've of still got, at a waiting game. We've got a few more days. We possibly got one little baby on board. And yeah. uh, if not, then we're going to call it an end to this journey. Yeah. And we'll find something else to do in our old age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Look at him looking at me, he's unsure. I'm not gonna steal your neck. So I made Weeby promise me that if it didn't work, he would take me to an all-inclusive place. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I want a hot beach and a margarita. <laughs> and I'll, all the food we can eat. <laughs> so, one way or another, <laughs> I mean... That'll it, be our next video, if we're on the beach. No, actually, actually um, we've already taken this vacation um, at the end of the summer. Oh, we, yeah. We went to Vancouver Island and like Whistler. Yeah. Um, and then like the San Juan Islands in, in um, Washington. So we've got kind of a Northwest United States, Canada yeah. video coming up. Um, so we were, we were there for almost two weeks. And we road tripped around. Yeah. So we've got a lot of videos on that that will be coming out next. Yeah.